Uh, I was having technical difficulties. My eyelash decided to insert itself into the middle of my cornea, which was super lovely. Um, continuing on. everyone my name is Tori and if you haven't been to my channel before welcome this is a fashion beauty like lifestyle channel mainly focusing on fashion which is the topic we're gonna get into today so if you've never been to my channel before go check out um I'll have some links and social medias in the description box below make sure to subscribe and give me a thumbs up on my video so let's just get right into the video. It is fashion month right now for fall winter 19, so that is what we're going to be getting into today. It's all the fall ready to wear collections for 2019. So today's video is going to be my favorite New York Fashion Week shows that happen this season for fall 2019 ready to wear. So um, I also have a video coming on my experience like working, like walking, like doing some things for New York Fashion Week. So if you guys are still interested in that, let me know in the comments below. But I'm really like pretty certain I'm going to be doing a video on that. So just let me know. But so today we're just going to get right into the my favorite shows and like why these were my favorite shows that happened. Uh, so yeah. So for a Tom Ford that was one of the first shows that I looked at. Usually I'll look at all the shows on Vogue Runway and if any of the shows really interest me I will watch them on a live stream or I'll watch them on an Instagram video. I follow some people on Instagram who are um, like Fashion Week like critics and editors and stuff and so that's where I see most of my content. So Tom Ford I really loved. I loved the fuzzy hats. They were super cute. It gave me very Tom Ford Gucci vibes, um, really liked it. Initially I wouldn't have paired the colors that were together in the first few looks together, but I liked them. And like I looked at it and I was like, do I like this? And I was like, no, I like really like this because I would have never thought to put those colors together. So that's my intake on that. I love the silhouettes and I really loved the color pairings even though it's not something that I personally would have thought of doing. Now there's this brand it's spelled K-H-A-I-T-E. I think it's Kate or K yeah I think it's Kate if that's wrong totally correct me in the comments below but I really liked their collection. It had like a lot of belting of blazers, it had beautiful silhouettes. It was like beautiful suiting, beautiful suits with like pops of colors, like green. Like it was a very muted collection, you know, for fall, like warm, deep tones, earth tones. And then like, you know, that pop of green to like bring color and pizzazz. And I really liked that. I love the pleating on the skirts and just in general throughout the whole collection. I felt like it really helped kind of keep it together. It had beautiful oversized silhouettes and I love the belting of the blazers. Um, I just really thought it was so beautiful. The next show I have written down is Tomo Koizumi. I'll insert some pictures and videos by the way like of all this stuff. I don't even need to say that because it'll be there. Um, beautiful silhouettes, beautiful colors, stunning. He's like, I like just popped out of nowhere like was discovered like a few months ago I'm pretty sure emerging designer and he showed at Marc Jacobs on Madison Ave his show and I had the pleasure of seeing it in person and it was absolutely beautiful breathtaking all the models looked fabulous it was just so beautiful all of the details and the colors so close up is like so amazing to see and I'm so lucky I got to see it Marc Jacobs I really liked I always love Marc Jacobs he's one of my favorite this is Marc Jacobs um, and he had some really crazy silhouettes in his collection, but then some very practical ones. So I like that there is like a mixture of, um, of like, you know, like super creative out there, like crazy, and then like, you know, some more practical looks for the collection. It's always good to have that in between so that you're like, you know, pleasing everyone. They had great silhouettes in the show. 
beautiful bows. There were a lot of bows I saw. There were a lot of like black velvet ribbon or bows like on on like pieces of collections. I was like just relooking all of it over before I came here and talked about it and like a lot had bows, a lot had sheer. I'll get into that more like you know when I get to when I get to the collections that like have those things. They had the nicest oversized coats. I love a good oversized coat. Um, and they had feathering on dresses, a jacket, and some of the tops of dresses. And I really thought that was beautiful. I really liked it. And I'm not a super big fan of feathers, but I love the like chaotic, like big poofy feather dresses and then how it would just like simply be on a top. Like I just like that like combination of it. Anna Sui was crazy. I loved it. Um, I really liked the clashing patterns, which usually I'm not big on that, but I like that like one piece where it was like the floral dress with like the like animal print jacket. There were a lot of animal and floral prints at Anna Sui. Um, I'm personally more an animal print gal than a um, flower print. I'm wearing today. I'm wearing a cherry print dress. Uh, there were a lot of uh, monochromatic looks, so like looks of like the same color but in different shades, or even in the same shade at Anna Sui, which is something that I saw in multiple collections. That we'll get more into as we go on and like talk about each one. Um, so I saw that, and then there was the resurgence of the colored tights, which I haven't seen since Gossip Girl. But I really loved it for Anna Sui. I thought it went with it. It was very fun and like fresh and colorful and crazy and it was just really good. Ula Johnson, I really liked it. It was elegant and like classic but had animal print and like the mixing of prints but wasn't like super wild. So it like wasn't Anna Sui level and then it had some very classic pieces but then it would have a piece that would have clashing patterns or like two types of print or like two pieces with the same print on it so it was like going out there and exploring and like you know creating like wild concepts and designs but like not like going full out. Those beautiful warm fall you know orange tones in the collection like it was just there were several different tones of like light orange, dark orange, medium orange like all together and it just was very beautiful. I really liked it. There's this designer, I hope I'm pronouncing this right, if I'm not absolutely correct me, Tadashi Shoji. At Tadashi Shoji, uh, the looks were very elegant. I loved the like velvet gloves. I loved the like sheer on the arms and parts of the legs. Like sheer is very sexy and I love when sheer is done correctly and like in a classic way and it was just very elegant. And there was some beautiful embroidery going on, like very subtle, but like very, very beautiful. Overall, the collection was just very elegant and classic with touches of like hipness in it. So it wasn't like older audience and like boring. It was like classic, elegant, classy, but for a girl, you know, in her 20s, in her 30s, like it, it was targeted more towards like, you know, millennial, like even like Gen Z because now Gen Z is getting old like I'm considered Gen Z which is super weird to me um yeah so I just really like the looks um I like gloves I feel like a lot of gloves are made in leather like the super long gloves and then they're bunched and then they're put under an oversized jacket so like I was pleasantly surprised that we had like a pair of like velvet gloves going on um it was very beautiful I really liked it and now I kind of want a pair Another collection I really liked was Kushni. Um, they used to be Kushni et Oc, I'm pretty sure, um, because I used to work for a stylist and we got a lot of Kushni et Oc. And then um, I'm not sure what happened, but now it's just Kushni and she's doing fine. Don't know what happened, but she's just Kushni now. And um, I always like their stuff. The f like literally the first time I saw their stuff when I was organizing stuff like at my old styling internship I just loved it. It was so beautiful. Um, so many interesting things going on. I just really appreciated their design aesthetic. I loved the combinations of the fur with the leather. I love fur and leather together. I love fur and velvet together. They were giving me that. They were giving me monochromatic looks like pink head to toe. This color head to toe. 
with the fur, with the leather, with the velvet, and like all the same, you know, like color but different shades or even some of them were the same shade but it was very very beautiful I really liked it I loved the suit structure they had this one suit and it had like subtle uh, embroidery on it like slight flower embroidery on it and it was very structured and tailored and fit beautifully to the model and I really love and appreciate when designers do that I've never like seen Longchamp and been like oh my god oh my god oh my god Longchamp like my brand like I love but I just never really looked at it because I thought I wasn't interested and their collection for fall was great I really enjoyed it they had beautiful all black looks they had beautiful sheer pieces they had great fur coats really liked them especially this white one beautiful it was one of the last looks on the runway it was white with fur I'll insert it um and I love the cinching of the waist with a thicker belt Brandon Maxwell again with the cinching of the waist with the thicker belt really liked it they gave us some monochromatic looks just like I've been saying for like three or four of the collections which is really interesting to me I didn't notice that when I was posting them but now that I'm like you know like I looked at all my favorite shows like together I realize that a lot of them do have things in common like the monochromatic the cinching with the wide belts like I just really am enjoying all of that it's like every collection that I've been really liking is one of has one of those looks in it I love the silhouettes of the tops they were so interesting to me and yeah they just like they did some really nice stuff and I really really liked it Zimmerman was good I loved it they had cute paper bag trousers, which I haven't seen a lot of designers doing recently, but my friend Monique has a pair of them and she let me borrow them when she came to visit me once and they were super, super cute. So I saw them and I thought of her. They again had the thick wide belts to cinch the waist, um, but these were like thick, like super, super wide leather belts. And I really love the whole look with the big buckle. They had beautiful sheer pieces with floral embroidery on them, on the tops and on dresses, and it was just very beautiful and elegant. They had pretty ribbons, just like in Marc Jacobs. They had this beautifully fitted trench coat with a thick belt around it, and I just, I just really, really loved it. The last show I'm going to talk about is Sally LaPointe. They again had monochromatic looks. These were some of the best monochromatic looks in my opinion. Sally LaPointe, Kushni, very well done monochromatic aesthetics of an outfit together. Very beautiful, loved it a lot. Beautiful combinations again of the fur and leather and then um, Sally did fur and silk which is very beautiful looking. Um, I love the different textures that still flow well together being paired together. I love the all leather outfits. Those are always a look. They had cute hats, neckties, and turtlenecks. And I really, really liked their collection. It was one of my favorites. I mean, these are all my favorites, but you know, like one of my top, top ones. So that is my video on my favorite New York Fashion Week shows. So just let me know if you enjoyed this. Leave me a comment below on any other videos you want to see on my channel. And make sure to subscribe to my channel. Bye, guys.